Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this course Certification in Quantity Survey and we are dealing with the quantity calculation of the reinforcement. In this module we are going to look for the quantity calculation of the column itself. So let us see what exactly are the dimensions given to us and what are the learnings from the given you know, diagram first of all then let us try to utilize that into the quantity calculation. So now well before starting quantity calculation you must learn about what exactly the foundation and columns are casted and how they are casted on a side. The first thing you need to know that the column and foundation are casted all together itself so the reinforcement of them are merged together and they are not you know they are not a separate entity while casting itself. So but as we are quantity calculating as per that you know component we call so we are calculating the quantity separately for foundation and separately for uh, column but on site it happens that the, all the quantities are you know casted and calculated and they are merged into each other so as to get the maximum output that we can have so let us see what exactly the dimensions that are given to us first one the size of the column that has been given that is a 350 mm by 200 mm in which there are two types of uh, reinforcements we have the first one we have is a longitudinal one which are the vertical bars which go throughout the length of the column the height of the column itself that is a 20 mm which are called as the longitudinal bars then we uh, how many numbers of there are the longitudinal bars these are the one then two then three and four five and six numbers of longitudinal bars then we have the lateral ties so what exactly are the lateral ties? Lateral ties are those which actually allow those vertical reinforcement to stay intact into their places so that they won't go on a bulging or any shear stresses won't start forming into them because of the verticality or the gravity itself. Getting it? So because of that whatever has been there to connect this uh, and keep this vertical reinforcement into in a proper position whenever we are going to pour a concrete whenever we are going to you know leave the column for after concreting obviously because of the gravity those, those vertical reinforcement might have certain you know, possibility of having a bulge or you know uh, compressing them because of the gravity of the core you call it a concrete or, or self weight also because of uh, for reinforcement so what we need to do we need to tie them together and what the work of um, who does that work is a lateral ties so there are lateral ties of 8 mm dia and uh, who are th placed at a 300 mm center to center. Then there are certain other dimensions that are been given to us. So the first one starting from the bo bottom, uh, there is a foundation <coughs> depth which is 350 mm that is the height of the foundation. Then the excavation and the actual depth for the excavation of foundation is 600 plus is 350. Then we have the plane height to be 300 mm. Then the floor to floor height is 3100 3, and the slab thickness given is 150 mm. Okay, and the covers for this reinfo uh, reinforcement are the cover for the co uh, column is 40 mm and the cover for this footing is 60 mm, as you are able to see at the bottom of the screen. Okay, then uh, the reinforcement for the uh, column is also given to us, uh, sorry, the foundation is also given to us that is 12 mm both ways at. 200 center to center so that means it has been placed at like this this is the jali or net that have, they have made and uh, like this there is a placing of this uh, reinforcement in the foundation and the cover for the uh, slab is given to be 20 mm okay so now let us see uh, uh, so as we have already seen that there are two types of uh, reinforcement in a column the first one is a longitudinal that is a vertical bar and there are the lateral ties so now what we need to do, we need to calculate first the length of the bar, then the number of bars. Length of the bars, number of bars. These are the only two quantities related to every reinforcement we calculate. So in case of the longitudinal bars, we are able to calculate the length by just counting 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. So we are not going to put any formula for that as we don't, don't even need for that. But for uh, lateral ties, we need to know that how many are placed over here throughout its length of the column so we might need to use the formula okay so let us focus on the first one that is the length of the longitudinal bar so to calculate the length of the longitudinal bars let me let us first of all see how the longitudinal bar is looking like so if you are able to see there is a development length which is going into, into the uh, slab then there is a total vertical length of this longitudinal bar then there is a horizontal l 
which is placed for merging this reinforcement into the uh, foundation so this length is 16 d that has been provided to us which is a standard one and this uh, development length is around 40 d to 50 d so we have considered this for our calculation to be 40 d so now this is how the call the reinforcement is looking alike so what i need to do is i need to find out the length of each and every dimensions into this one so let us first of all focus into this vertical height only so this vertical height how, how am i going to calculate the length of that one it's just by adding those all the vertical heights we have so the first one is a 3100 that's a floor to floor height then 300 mm that's a plinth height then 600 mm that's excavation then actual 350 is a foundation so now we have is a 300 3100 plus 300 600 and 350 okay into that what i need to add is these are the this is the development length and this is the l length that we have so development length formula we have given is ld we call it ld and 16d is the actual length which has been given to uh, uh, given over here okay now the only thing that i need to minus is i have if you are able to see this foundation over here my the length this l bar is coming and getting you know having its uh, bottom of the l at a certain distance from the foundation okay so this is the actual extra length that we have considered in our calculation so this is what we need to minus and what is that that is this is 16 m 60 mm clear cover for the foundation enforcement and as i told you these are the enforcement bars placed in as in in shape of the jali so they are placed on each other so that means if this is a horizontal bar then the vertical bar other bar is placed into this manner so the uh, diameter of this bar and diameter of this bar i have to minus so ultimately it will be starting from foundation okay this will be the clear cover then there is a horizontal uh, reinforcement diameter bar diameter of that bar and the diameter of the other uh, dimensions bar okay so that means the 60 plus 12 plus 12 that is what i am going to minus from this one so i am just going to put the values into uh, ld uh, and d uh, d over here is the diameter of the bar and ld is the development length which whose value given is to be 14 to d d is the diameter of bar so i just put the values the value is coming to be 5.386 meter so the total length of bar starting from this to the total length over here is a 5386 5, mm now the next one let us focus on the number of lateral tides so now lateral tides as i told you they these are the ones who are now uh, hold this uh, in vertical enforcement in intact in a position so what i need to do so obviously they are provided from the bottom of the slab till the starting of the uh, vertical height of the reinforcement okay uh, these longitudinal bars so I do have this total length with me so I write this total length is with me from this if I minus this bottom length and the top development length I am going to get the total vertical height of the bar right so what I need to do is a lateral uh, number of lateral tides is equal to length of the longitudinal bar which we have calculated over here this one minus development length minus 16 d so this two if I am going to minus whatever length is going to be there that is a length in which the lateral ties are going to be placed so uh, this is what i am going to minus divided by total spacing between those two ties um, so the uh, the spacing which been given to us is a 300 center to center so the every reinforcement uh, this lateral ties are placed at a distance of 300 center to center okay and plus one we need to add as we um, uh, go on uh, calculating the quantity we always calculate you know plus up to this one but we need to add one quantity so that's to complete the total value of the lateral ties so that one i just place plus one the total value comes out to be 15.22 as 0.22 kind of uh, th that is the, not the uh, type of lateral tie we can provide of 0.22 lateral tie we don't have so we are going to you know uh, move it to the next complete number that's 16 so total number of lateral ties we have is a 16 now the another important one we don't haven't have calculated the length of the lateral ties yet right so let us start how to calculate the length of the lateral ties also so to calculate that we have a formula that is 2 into a plus b plus hook length into 2 minus bends so now let us go one by one what is what so first of all 
what is small a and small b small a is a from end to end dimension of this reinforcement horizontally and uh, b is a end to end dimension of this reinforcement vertically okay so end to end is important one hmm? so now how to calculate that end to end dimensions for a uh, you can consider a as a vertical one and b horizontal one it, in any ways it's not uh, going to cause any trouble to us uh, just it, it's just a summation of both of them so uh, anyhow they are going to be same one if you calculate in either way so what a is a is as i have considered the horizontal one into in dimensions of the reinforcement that is a is equal to total dimension of the bar, uh, uh, column that is 350 out of which i have to minus these two covers right from outer of out to out so that is 2 into cover minus 2 into bar diameter of this bar and this same bar is coming over here so that means whatever the length is coming that will be from end to end dimension so that is 350 minus 2 into 40 that is a cover we have given for the column and minus 2 into bar dia now whose bar dia we are going to have is a lateral ties bar dia right so that is 8 mm so that we have put we got is 254 as a uh, length uh, that is a value of a now for the b we are going to do the same that's just only vertical height we are going to consider so for that b is equal to 200 minus 2 into cover minus 2 into bar dia that's 200 minus 2 into 40 minus 2 into 8 that is 104 let's put it into this value so i got 2 a b now what i don't know is a hook length so now the reinforcement we have they do have the length of you know 135 degrees itself the bend is 135 degree and the hook length cover provided most of the times with the, with this type of reinforcement is a 10 d d is the diameter of the bar and okay so we are just going to multiply this with the two then what we have is the minus bends now what happens whenever we do provide the reinforcement it has been bent into different angles so over here our enforcement is been bent three times into 90 degree okay so this three times 90 degree bends uh, we have to deduct how we are going to do that as we have discussed into the basics of the enforcement you know so into that uh, we are going to minus this three into 90 degree that is a two into d that's a basic value of the 90 degree bend deduction so let me put all those value into this one the length of the reinforcement uh, uh, lateral ties is coming to be 0.828 meter okay so now the another most important concept into this one i need to put everything into the uh, proper uh, format over here so that the people who are reading it should be in a position to understand that so that is the bar bending schedules actual representation into the excel sheet we do we work in excel sheet but just for your understanding i made into a small table over here so the the same as we have discussed in earlier chapter the, the this table is going to be same let us just put the values into this one first one the type of the bar then the shape of the bar just for your understanding i have drawn this one then the die of bar whatever the longitudinal bar has a die of 20 mm and the stirrup has a, a die of 8 mm okay then the number of bars are 6 for the as we have calculated 1 2 3 4 5 6 for this one and the 16 are the number of bars, uh, the number of uh, lateral ties we have. So we put into the 16 over here. Now the cutting length that is 5.386 we calculated and 0.828. Then the total length is a multiplication of these, uh, the multiplication of these two that comes over here. Multiplication of these two comes over here. Then the unit weight of bar that we have calculated and remembered earlier. And if still you are not able to, we just calculate it with the help of d square by 162 where d is the diameter of bar in mm okay so just to calculate the unit weight of uh, this one that's a 20 square in divided by 162 and 8 square divided by 162 its so values now the multiplication of these two will give me the total weight these two will give me the total weight we just added to this one and the wastage we consider is to be a three percent that is we added three percent of this one the total in the quantity of the reinforcement for the column is coming to be 94.32 kg okay with this i wish you all the best thank you so much